Hello, everybody. I'm going to talk today about part six in Wendy Adelson's book, This Is Our Story. And um, I can't believe I'm at part six. And guys, I apologize in advance. I'm not done. I think that there's going to be a couple more parts. And I hope that you guys are enjoying my recaps of Wendy's book. And she finally gets to tell us her side of the story or, or just her story about living in Tallahassee and being a young lawyer. And I'm on chapter 21. And where I left off was Lily and Josh were having a little bit of marital trouble. She found a letter that Josh had applied to Cornell to be a teacher. And then he explained himself that it was just to keep his tenure going at his university job in North Florida. And Lily is also brainstorming of ways to keep her immigration law practice going. And people in Hiawassee Springs are shocked by the sad stories that she tells them about the immigrant population in Hiawassee Springs. Lily said she doesn't pray often, but sometimes she'd pray for the clients that she worked with. And she says people in groups would donate toys and food And her office became like a toy and food drive. She was working seven days a week. And at the end of the day, she just collapsed when she got home. She was forgetting to eat. And she she said that she knew she was neglecting Josh. And she was too tired to care. And she said he didn't complain at first. But she felt like this was compassion fatigue that she was going through from her job. And she said that everyone else's problem seems small compared to her client's problems. And she was upset with friends for talking about shallow things. And Josh says to her one day, exasperated, do you even know I'm here? This was like a very important event that he kind of like snapped at her and was tired of her ignoring him and focusing all of her energy on her job. And she said that Josh hated conflict or hurting people's feelings. And he shouted at her, I'm your husband. I need your love. And she tried not to laugh. And in a footnote in this book, she, Wendy admits that her laughter is a flaw. And we've seen this on the stand when she's testifying, you guys. We all know she laughs openly and kind of like in a haughty kind of way at whoever is asking her questions. Anything you say today can't be used against you if the state decides to arrest you later on. The state isn't going to decide to arrest me. Uh, anyway. In the book, you know, we're talking about Lily here, but we we believe that Wendy is kind of this character, Lily. She said she could feel the corners of her mouth turn into a smile and a smirk. And we know that Wendy does that (laughs) as well. Sidebar, Wendy, Wendy talks in this book in the first person, sometimes in a sidebar. And she said that she got into trouble at school twice for her laughter. Wendy, the author, was saying, you know, She said she got in trouble like once in sixth grade and once in 11th grade for like hysterically laughing in class. And she she had to be asked to leave the class. So she said she was very embarrassed about that. And she knows it's a flaw. All right, back to the book. Lily hysterically laughs at Josh. And she said she knew Josh was very disappointed in her. And then she said Josh was drawn to her Lily laugh, as they would call it. And they made love after the argument. And she said that they they may have created a life after that. And she says it took so long. It took her so long to find the right guy. She couldn't just walk out on him. And she said she gave up too much to start this life in Hiawassee Springs. So she said that they both deserve better than that. So they stuck it out. And we all know that. Wendy did end up leaving Dan and whether this book parallels that situation I guess at the time Wendy and Dan were kind of happily married maybe on the outs but still still shared some good times but um guys let me know what you think of my my book summaries this is part six of this is our story and I'm sharing Wendy's perspective in the book and things pertaining to to the Catherine McVenua trial. Thank you so much, you guys, for listening. And 
let's look forward to Catherine McBenua's trial and more updates to come on the Dan Markell murder. You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for listening. Like and subscribe.